Shalom Israel. Uh, so like y'all, my um, camera had cut off. Uh, it, my, uh, my iPad overheated, so, and I did this video yesterday, but I'm about to finish it today. Like I said, I only got like a few things to go through, so this video might be like two minutes, two, three minutes long. So uh, I'm gonna go back to Enoch 62. We're gonna start at verse 15, and I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna get the presets of what I was gonna bring out uh, before the video cut off. So Enoch chapter 62, verse 15. And the righteous and elect shall have shall have risen from the earth and cease to be downcast countenance and they shall be and they shall have been clothed with garments of glory and these shall be the garments of life from the lord of spirits and your garments shall not grow old nor your glory pass away from before from shalak not not your glory pass away before oh my gosh like again it says nor your glory pass away before the lord of spirits so i'm going to get a precept for um the part where it said they have been they shall have been clothed with garments of glory. Let's go to Revelations chapter 7. Revelations chapter 7, verse 9. Revelation 7, verse 9. All right. Um, it says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds of people and tongues, Stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Now drop down to verses 13 and 14. It says, And one of the elders answered and saying unto me, uh, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Now, I'm going to get a precept now for the last part where it said, Nor your glory pass away before the Lord of Spirits. So that's pretty much saying like our kingdom, or like the thing that we're going to have, is going to reign forever. Once we get put in rulership, and I'm praying, and we're all hoping, very hoping, much so, that's going to happen this Saturday. We get turned up. So, you know, we're going to um, we gonna continue to petition for that. And most I promised us that our kingdom at when we get this turn up and when we get our kingdom uh, established, man, we're gonna have it forever. No one will ever dethrone us. Let's go to Daniel chapter seven. Last piece I'm gonna bring out. Like I said, this video is gonna be real short. Um, Daniel chapter seven, verse eighteen. Daniel chapter seven, verse eighteen. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever. And that's um we can also read verse uh 27 it says in the kingdom and dominion and, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole earth shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him man our kingdom is going to be forever once we get it man and i'm praying and i know y'all are as well man that we praying that we get this turn up this saturday man i really truly believe it man we put a lot on the line over these past few years for most of y'all um past few months for myself um of being waking uh woken up to this truth man and just everything that we ever work for is coming into um we're gonna get re um, repaid man every every chapter we've read every verse that we've ever studied every precept we try to remember off the top of our heads without looking in our bibles man everything we've given up for this truth man i know a lot of y'all have given up family friends um, school, sports. Um, no friend of mine dropped out of the military for this. I dropped out of um, playing college football for this, man. It's just there's a lot of things that we have got that we have given up. I know Ox who have um, have issues with their um, their baby moms and have issues with their family members, some even their own wives that they live with. Um, I know Brother Matthias has touched on that himself a lot that he goes through things too. Everybody, we all have gotten chastised from the Most High Man, but everything that we ever went through is going to equate up. To that very moment where we get turned up from that point on eternity is a step closer i mean we're already in eternity eternity you know it already began but now this is just a major step it's gonna be a big big step to what we're trying to or not to what we're trying to what we're going to accomplish and this is gonna be a big step we've done everything we needed to do up to this point and the most high is it's in his court now and trust me he wants to give it to us man you think he's he's tired of seeing us getting beat down too man of course 
it was all our own doing and he said of course he loves when we get chastened and and, just, and um and we go through things to teach us obedience but now we've been doing that for many many years now many decades many centuries and now it's time for us to take back the spot that we rightfully own and get those heathens out of our land so we can dwell in our motherland so um i want to cut this video here man i like i said i want to keep it too long i damn it was finished with the other one from my ipad overheated so Shalom Ox, uh, Ox and Aqua out there listening and learning. Shalom to my Ox, my 144 Ox, my Rod of Iron family. Love y'all so much, man. I cannot wait to meet most of y'all this Saturday. And continue to petition to the most high that we get turned up this Saturday, man. Because I know a lot of y'all feel it, and I feel it myself, that this is the last week of captivity for all of us. So Shalom Ox, love.